Here I have a compound inequality, negative x greater than 1 and 3x plus 3 greater than or equal to x minus 3. Let's first solve each of these inequalities and then we'll worry about the and, which means the intersection of the two. So let's solve this inequality. I will solve it by dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is negative 1. Because I'm dividing by a negative number, I reverse the direction of the inequality sign, and I have x less than negative 1. Now let's continue with the other inequality. How do I solve this? I will subtract x from both sides, so I have 3x plus 3. I'll subtract x from the left side, and now I'll subtract x from the right side. Notice on the left side, 3x minus 3, that's 2x plus 3, greater than or equal to negative 3. And now let's subtract 3 from both sides. So I'll have 2x plus 3 minus 3, greater than or equal to negative 3 minus 3. Or on the left side, 2x is greater than or equal to negative 3 minus 3, that's negative 6. Don't worry about this being negative, worry about what you divide both sides by. And I'm dividing both sides by positive 2, so I do not reverse the direction of my inequality symbol, and I have x greater than or equal to negative 3. So I have x less than negative 1 and x greater than or equal to negative 3, write these two inequalities down because we're about to go to a few number lines. To find the intersection of these two inequalities, I find it advantageous if we draw three number lines and notice how they're all lined up. So on my first number line, I'll just shade all numbers less than negative 1. So I'll put a parenthesis at negative 1, and I'll shade numbers to their left, and that would be in this direction. On the second number line, I'll shade all numbers greater than or equal to negative 3. So go to negative 3, place a bracket at negative 3, and shade to the right because we're shading greater than negative 3. Now the third number line is where we take the intersection. So we're interested in where both number lines have been shaded. I'm only interested in where both number lines have been shaded. Notice over here between negative 4 and negative 5, for example, only this number line has been shaded and not this one. So that's not a part of the intersection. Notice right at negative 3, that's where the overlap or the intersection of shading has started. Both number lines are shaded until we reach negative 1, and I'll put a parenthesis here because only on this number line has negative 1 been shaded. Not here, but here, so I'll put a parenthesis there. So let's write down now what we've shaded from negative 3 to negative 1 with a parenthesis. There are our solutions.